Thank you very much, Rachel. And thanks to Intrac for the invitation. It is a bit daunting to have to say something about civil society when you speak after Michael Edwards. <laughs> he has written almost every book on civil society. And congratulations to Intrac on your 20th anniversary. Well, 20 years puts you just on the verge of adulthood. So you can imagine the challenges that you are facing as an organization. What I'm going to try to do for my eight minutes is really talk about the challenges and opportunities that are facing civil society by looking at South Africa. So through the lens of South Africa to offer some of my thoughts, some of my reflections, um, some of my observations from my own experience as a citizen in South Africa, from uh, my reflections as uh, part of an organization whose work is really nested in civil society. CDRA works with uh, civil society organizations broadly and very narrowly with the nonprofit sector in South Africa. Then when I saw in the, in the theme of the conference the whole notion of new frontier, I thought, no, I'm going to stay clear of frontiers because those were sites of battle in the history of my country. So in South Africa, when I look at South Africa and I look at what is happening in my country, there is no doubt that there is a new urgency about the future of civil society. If you just listen and you look around to the number of conversations that are happening in the country, if you're looking at the number of platforms where civil society is being discussed, there are numerous of these conversations happening. From my experience, they are happening all over at all levels in the country. They are happening from within civil society itself. They are happening in my own organization. And what do these conversations focus on? A lot of these conversations at this point in time, they're focusing on the role of civil society. There's a deep questioning in the South African context of the role of civil society. What role is it playing? There's no doubt about the role that it has played in the past. Civil society has made a huge contribution in, uh, in the liberation struggle. So its liberatory role is highly acknowledged in South Africa. There's also, con the conversation also focuses on the contribution and the value of civil society. What is the current contribution? And what is the value of civil society in the current context? Then it also focuses on the state of civil society. If you talk about the state of civil society in the South African context, it is largely a matter of opinion. It depends on who you're speaking to. Some will say civil society is alive, it is healthy, it is kicking. Others will say there is a lot that needs to be done. Others will tell you that um, it is not as healthy as it should be. But just a few thoughts on South Africa so that I can locate some of these challenges within the broader South African context. It becomes very difficult when one tries to tell the story of South Africa after 1994. And the difficulty lies not in keeping the, it, the narrative or the story very neat, but it lies in are you able to offer a balance between the optimistic narrative and the pessimistic narrative. And I don't know how it's going to come out, but I'm going to share very, very, very briefly. South Africa is a very young democracy. There's no doubt that the introduction of the democratic dispensation in 1994 was a definitely a, an energizing uh, thing in the history of the country. It called for transformation. It called for new values. It called for new behaviors. It called for new orientation. The introduction of democracy ushered in a new consciousness in the country. However, 17 years down the line, as part of civil society, we have learned that Free and fair elections do not make a democracy. 